Hey everybody, Robbie here at RV Sales Morgan. Today we're taking a look at this really, really nice Class C. This is a Thor Synergy. It's a 24, um, oh gosh, 24, I just forgot. Oh, it's SD24, pardon me. Two, uh, two slide rig, 24 foot, uh, got the Mercedes turbo diesel under the hood, getting about 16 to 18 miles per gallon with these things. That's, that's a true number. That's what I've heard from uh, experienced customers. Um, got the steel wheels for this thing right now. Um, I do have some covers for it, so if you like that aluminum cover, I do have those as well. Um, full body paint on this coach. These are not decals. These are all part of the paint, so it's gonna look like this for years and years. Um, doesn't doesn't um, fade, doesn't you know tear apart and wrinkle like the decals do. We have side mounted cameras on that, that's what these are, and you do have a rear mounted camera, so um, three cameras total, you flip your blinker on, that'll show you down the sides, and then you have your backup camera going whenever you'd like. Um, it is a Class C, I know the front looks pretty flush, like a Class B, we'll look at that from the inside, but that does make it a little bit more aerodynamic. Um, coming down the entry side of the rig, you see we have this nice big box awning that doesn't have arms to get in your way on either side. They're built into the unit there. And there is a nice LED strip of lights in that which give off really nice reflective light from the awning down and just give you kind of a glowing area out here where you also have a couple of speakers to entertain with. These are awesome speakers. I was listening to it yesterday, inside and outside. Really high quality tweeters there. Um, and then you do have an outside TV as well if you're watching the game or something you want to watch while you're out there using the rig on a nice day like today. Um, bits of storage here and here we just have low point drains, water pump and holding tanks there. You have a couple outlets if you're plugging anything in outside of the TV. Here's our refrigerator exhaust, furnace exhaust, another speaker and a bit more storage here on the passenger side rear. Also, while I got this open, you'll see this. This is a propane hookup from our uh, built-in propane tank. So you can hook up a grill out here, be barbecuing underneath the awning. Really nice setup. And you do have some landing there gear uh, for stabilizing. We have a nice big rear fiberglass cap. You'll see we have that backup camera that I mentioned in the front that has the night vision um, things on it so you can see better at night. And you do have a receiver on here. Most of these Mercedes are set up for about 4,000 pounds. Um, I don't have a readout on it. If it's important, you let me know and I'll find out. I think it's either 35, anywhere from 35 to 4,500 pounds that it can tow. Um, dual slide, this is the, the longer, or the deeper of the slides, not the longer of them. This is your bed slide. We'll see that from the inside. And you do get a bit of storage underneath it here. Every bit of storage helps. Um, our generator is located just below me here. It is an Onan. 3600 propane generator. Now you have a 20 gallon propane tank up front and I'll show that to you. So that's running off of that. I believe this is more storage here. Oh, no, our, our uh, outside shower. And then this is just storage for a hose. Black and gray valves down here and a sandy flush there for cleaning out your tanks when you're done using it. Um, here is the exhaust for our water heater. This is an on-demand water heater. There's no tank. It's just going to create hot water as you need it. That is propane and electric. So you have both options there and more or less endless hot water with that set up. There's just our power reel and more storage. And not exciting, but our propane tank. Like I said, 20 gallons, easy to fill, easy to get to, built on. Um, do have some nice little running lights out here so when you're getting out of the rig during the night it's easy to see and then our fuel tank is right here kind of tucked away in the door the nice thing about that is if they don't have the key and this thing's locked no one can get to your gas tank or diesel tank I believe these Mercedes motors are three liter uh, turbo diesel um, I don't know the horsepower rating but they're plenty for what you're pulling this for what you're with the weight of this thing and the torque you get with that is just a lot better than the gas rig. So it's just really consistent power as you need it. Climbing hills, very, very quiet. Um, great motors there. Uh, look into them more. You'll see people put hundreds, hundreds of thousands of miles, um, even millions in some cases on those motors. Uh, double powered step here as we come in. Batteries are right under my feet and nice simple controls right by the door here for your main power through your step and for your jacks right where they should be with a GCFI right there. Your other controls are right here on your right hand side as you're coming in. I currently have the coach off but if I turn that on you'll see you can check all of your um, 
your power in your batteries, how much LP you have, and all your tanks. You run your slides from here, your awning from here. Um, you can run all the lights in here, and this is for temperature control too, so AC and furnace. Um, up above that, I have a Bluetooth player, CD player. Um, this is the one that controls the speakers outside and inside. Um, hooks up to the TV as a DVD player, and really just sounds really nice. I, I don't know how much the sound's gonna come across in the video, but a really nice sound system in this thing. Um, like I said, we do have a cab up here, uh, the bed up top, so it is a Class C. Just a little bit more narrow, a little bit smaller, but plenty big enough for a couple of kids. Or one big, you know, I would fit up there fine on my own. Um, but really streamlined, so not really affecting the wind as you're going down the road. This guy goes up during travel if you want more headroom here. And those cushions up there are for this nice big dinette that folds down. These guys leaf up. And then when this is down, you have those cushions to fill that gap. So you end up getting a really nice good sized dinette and a pretty compact size rig. Now I'm up front, you'll see that infotainment system is a big one. Um, has navigation, has HDMI inputs on it, um, SD card inputs on it, um, Bluetooth, everything that these new smart head units are doing, that one does. It is a very smart head unit. Um, I, uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto built into that thing. So, so really, really helpful, nice feature there. Um, and basically pretty simple controls on that. You're what you expect to see in the sprinters nowadays. Um, you do get a glove box in this model, um, but pr pretty simple up front. Nice easy rubber tray, okay, makes it easy to keep clean as well. On the kitchen end of things, um, they opted for a single stove induction top, which is great. Most of the time you're only using one anyway, and what that gives you is all this extra counter space. You have this nice big farm style sink, single den sink, and a fold up here for a little bit more counter space. Good storage below. We have a microwave convection oven here by uh, High Point. Um, so you don't need an oven when you got one of those. And, and good storage up top, as well as just a little bit of light on your hood cover there. So here's the middle part, and on either side is a slide. So in here you get some nice big storage. And three built-ins down below there. Um, right up above you, we do have our single AC unit. It's a 15,000 BTU AC unit, and it's all ducted throughout. Plenty to keep a rig this size very cold. Um, and then having a fiberglass roof and full body paint is going to be another insulating factor for you. So does a good job keeping it cool, everything you should need here. Um, on top of that, on the roof, you do have, I think, 200 watts of solar, one big panel up there, um, and then you have a Wi-Fi extender, or a Wi-Fi booster, whatever you want to call it, um, up there as well. So if you're the type of person that's using that, really nice feature to make sure you have good internet. Um, dual, dual propane and electric, nor cold fridge, about five cubic foot. Um, corner bathroom in here, and it is a good size one. It kind of surprises you. Comes out of nowhere. You have your vanity in here, porcelain potty, and a good size shower for most. For me, it works. About six two, and I can get in here, stand up nice and tall, get my arms up. I got enough room in here. I'm happy. And you do have controls for your water heater in here too, which is just intuitive. That's how it should be. You know, this is where you're using your water heater more than anywhere else. Good grab handle here and towel rack, and you have the the ceiling vent up top. Um, in the bedroom, we do have a walk around RV style queen. So it's queen in width, a little bit shorter. I think it's 76 inches in total length. So a little bit shorter, but a good size queen. Um, good windows there to for just have an air move around. And right behind me, we have our TV. I'll let you get a better glimpse of that. Um, and then a curtain to separate all that. So you have privacy in the bedroom. Tons of features on this. I am gonna kind of wrap it up here because there's a lot of stuff I can keep going on. Um, oh, real quick, the seats do swivel. You have a charging station here. Um, TV's on a big swivel here. But I'm just gonna leave it at that. Thank you guys for checking out this video. It's a 2018 Thor Synergy. It's an SD24 is the model. Um, about 18 and a half thousand miles on it. So just a pup still in break-in period. Um, and impeccably clean rig. So come see this thing. I get the feeling I'm not gonna have it for a long time, but. I've been wrong before. We'll see. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for checking out this video. I'm Robbie at RV Sales of Oregon. Have a nice day.